statistics reveal that 2.5 million Ugandans have the both moderate and severe eye-related impairment where 150,000 are completely blind. It is noted that the government of Uganda has expressed concern about the increase in cases of the eye defects among the Ugandans. Today, the Wasia District Health Authority embarked on a five-day eye screening camp ahead of the National Independence Day celebrations, which is launched on the 9th of October, 2024. Speaking to the principal secretary from the office of the president, Tony Mulambe, he opted to bring the camp in Busia because it will be the host district all the year's independence celebration. He added that those who will be diagnosed with the eye problems that need operation will be able to access it free, noting that the eye ointments and eye glasses will be free. It is preceding the main, the main function. So, and this uh, free medical care is given to those people that are not able to afford some of these uh, expenses of eye care. I was giving you an example that uh, on average... Uh, Mulambi adds that those who require eye surgery are to be referred to the Bukedia Eye Hospital for the operation. On average, uh, a surgery for, for an eye goes at around four to five million. Therefore, if someone is being offered free treatment, then that, that would be something that he, that is that will be good to our local people. Nikasa Barbara Owendo, the National Resistance Movement Party treasurer, says that the free eye screening camp is one of the two ways for the ruling party to give back to its citizens and is a strategy to help in mobilizing the public to attend the Independence Day celebration in the area. And we shall be closing the exercise on the 27th uh, September. I want to thank the medical superintendent of Masafo Hospital for providing space where we are conducting the uh, medi uh, medical camp. And I also want to thank his staff who are going to offer the expertise and necessary assistance to our friends from Germany who will be conducting this exercise. I want to make an appeal to our... She appealed to the medics to embark on sustaining Ugandans on the preventive measures of the eye defects. First and foremost, give our people the health education that they require. It is better for us to focus on the preventive measures other than looking for the curative measures. So as our people come for these services, let's uh, assist them, diagnose them properly, give the required medication, but most importantly, let's zero on the education they require, the knowledge they require for them to know how to take good care of themselves. These are one of the things we are doing to kickstart activities towards the 9th October uh, independence celebrations. For those who may not know, we shall be hosting as Busia, the national independence celebrations here in Busia, in this particular sub-county, uh, Busia uh, Masafu Town Council at uh, Busiho PTC. So we do make an appeal to those from within and we Dr. Tumsimi Emmanuel, the in charge of the Masafu General Hospital, noted that they have been registering the high cases of the eye sight defects. He attributes the increase of the failure of eating healthy foods and poor use of computers and phones without eyeglasses that prevent the direct light. Uh, the 23rd of September 2024, we've uh, officially launched an eye camp uh, that is going to run up to the end of this week, that is Friday the 27th of September. Uh, we have uh, doctors from Germany that are collaborating with the office of the president to, to fund this. So meaning the organization is by those two people. Uh, the camp is being held at Masaf General Hospital. Uh, we are looking at screening of eye problems and also treating a few conditions that can be handled at Massa General Hospital. Please join me in 